Welcome Transformer fans to another Optimus Wobber review and I gave in and bought Bumblebee. Welcome everyone to another review right here on Optimus Wobber Reviews. My name is Will and of course as you've seen in the picture I managed to get my hands on the power core Bumblebee but before we get into him this is going to be a bit of a big next two videos I'm going to be doing and if you're in Scotland or if you're coming up to the Glasgow Comic Con I will be there you'll probably see me walking about I will be doing a vlog of sorts and I'm going to try and see if I can find anybody dressed up as any Transformers stuff like that I'm going to try and get a few of my own do a whole video and get everything put in place so that's over the next couple of days and with the Bumblebee video this I was hoping would show up yesterday, but it didn't. It came today and the Saturday, so it's now getting all these videos put together. But, of course, you're here for Bumblebee, and here he is. First off, I do love the box. I think the Bumblebee boxes that are coming out for the new movie are fantastically detailed. The figure's cool, and I've had a pr proper transformation of them already. So... Let's get him out of this, get him transformed, and I'll go through the pros and cons of this figure. So don't think after what happened with the last night figures, Hasbro's done something different. There's still a few issues with this figure, and I'll show you them in the video. And here is Bumblebee. And he does look like a really cool figure, I've got to admit. Seeing him like this is a lot better than the car mode. Now, there is still a few issues with him, but... Overall impressions, I do like the figure. I really do like the figure. I'm not the biggest Bumblebee fan. Anybody personally knows me. <laughs> I know I've got a small Bumblebee collection um, within my Transformers collection, but genuinely I'm not a big Bumblebee fan. But to have him in the Volkswagen, it's set in the 80s, of course I'm going to buy him. Straight off, I will turn around and say this. I'd say this is more a gimmick toy for children than it is for the collectors. I'm hoping more to get the Studio Series Bumblebee. That's the one I really want um, to add to the collection. But overall, I'm happy I've got this one. I probably will keep this one in the box because I really do like that box. Gimmicks-wise, he has got a few. As you can clearly see, he's got this big ball in the front. If you move it down... He's got 25 sayings that I've not found every single one. And you can keep doing it. That, that's the gimmick mostly for this figure. So that, that's basically Bumblebee. If you come to the side, you have... Oh, no, he's... he's oh, he has got his stinger blade, which is pretty cool. I didn't think it was going to have it in it. And I was pretty happy with it. Get a better shot here. And there you go. With the face, if you come to the front, pull the little bits down the front. That'll pull back his antennas and battle mode mask is down. I really do like that. The bumpers, on the other hand, are rubber. They're very, very, very bad rubber. I actually got one of them stuck in the process of transforming them into the Beetle. But that's also the process we're going to go for now. Starting off, swing them around to the back. And just open up the doors, like so, and bring up these parts. They'll just clip on. It is a lot, it just clips. It's not very difficult up in the front and the arms, it's more the legs. And what it really did remind me of is the Studio Series. Like the Studio Series, Everton's based in these legs. Up here is basically ready just to move in and just fold up. That is it. So we'll come to the back. He's going to make the traditional transformer noise, not Michael Bay's. Which I'm happy with. Just pull it down a fraction and that is that ready. So just leave that like that. Come to the legs and pop this bit open first. His shin guard up his heel. So it's this silver bit, just pop it, and these bits, they're both on a double hinge. And what you're doing is opening 
this side first and pulling it down. Now it might look quite a mess just now, but trust me on this one, it's going to help. So you want his legs to basically look like this. Come to the feet. Just pull them open. Okay. And just move that around. Flip them over. Come to the back. And then just click that in place. And what you want to do, there's a grey double hinge here. And what you're wanting is that to sit like that. So you can start to see everything take place. With the wheel, twist it round. Let's move his arm out the road. So it's like this now. And basically what you're doing, straighten up that leg, bring this part up, and that should have a little point here, which will tab into the foot here. Now what you're wanting is the leg to look like this, and this is the main problem. It was a similar problem it was like with the studio editions, the studio series, and I don't think it was the best way to go, and I can imagine the actual studio series is going to be the exact same. So we'll do the same with this leg, and get it ready. Now when you have both feet in, this is what it's going to look like. Now these are the main problems, because they don't really sit in the pegs that they've got and I don't know if it's just my figure I really don't know if it's just mine I've not seen anybody else talk about that so at the back close everything up and that should hold everything in place just bring the feet down and these tabs should just sit in the middle so it is very similar to the studio series very very similar now we're going to come to the doors Flip Bumblebee up, just flip them up, and just put them in place. Don't peg them in yet, because this is the problem I had, getting everything ready. Move that down just now, and when you come round to the bottom, you see there's pegs ready to push the doors out. Now, I thought they were going to sit and flush, and when I'd done it, everything just kind of collapsed in itself. Come to the arms, twist them round, and just lock them in place. That's basically it with them. Make sure the wheels are straight, and he will just glide right in. Let's do it for this angle. This arm, same again. Just slot it down, and it will slide in place. Now you've got Bumblebee looking like this. It is just really now tidying everything up, clipping everything into place, making sure the bumper's all ready, and nothing pops. And this time for the video, he's actually done it. He's not popped anything. One complaint I do have for mine, this was tucked away in these parts when it was going for the original transformation, <clears throat> and it's bent, so that's that. But does he move? Well, yes. Everton relies on that little ball like you've seen. So if you flip him up, you can clearly see there's the ball there. And if you move them first, you should start. Yep, there he goes. But as a, rep as a representation of the 80s Bumblebee, and of course a new movie coming out, I really do like the looks of this. Like I said, I wasn't a big fan when I transformed it. The first time, I usually do a practice one sometimes, and I've done the practice one on this, but this time he's actually holding a lot better together. So I think the initial transformation... It's fixed a few things. The issues I had, you can clearly see, are these bits. Nobody really spoke about that in any of the reviews I've seen or anything like that. And I'd like to bring it up. Just be wary that the back bit will not be completely covered over. And some of them do pop. And I'd like to show you just now because it's happened. As you can see right there. Final thoughts on Bumblebee. I like it standing up with the battle mask down. It's a cool figure. Now, heels, like I said, the pros and cons. Pros, it looks amazing. Box art's amazing. It does exactly what it's meant to do. And yes, this is Bumblebee from the 80s. It looks like him. The cons are definitely the transformation. Those legs are similar to the Studio Series, which I was never a fan of. And it's kind of 
put its way back over to here. And this is a bigger version. And I didn't think it would have the exact same problem, but it does. And of course, you've also got the unpegging of some of the stuff coming out. It's still doing that, even though I've unsettled. The phrases, like I said, I've not found all 25. It's a gimmick, so it's one of the things where you could go through every single one and try to find it. On the box, it says ages 6 and up. I will be honest. For a 6 year old, I think he's going to be annoying. And that's just because of their legs. You've got to get those legs spot on to get this transformation set nice. But, again, it's one of those things for the collectors. Like myself, I'll have it because it's Transformers. It's a brand new Bumblebee movie. I like to get my hands on the first thing I could get from it. And this is the first one I could get my hands on. Preferably, I want the studio series. But yeah, I'm happy with this one. I do recommend it. If you're going to get a Bumblebee toy, at least they've got the one ready for the 1980s new movie. And I'd pick it up. Thank you everyone for tuning into the video today. Remember, smash that like button, hit the subscribe button as well, and that notification bell, so you know that a new Fortune's Wilbur review goes live. Also, be sure to check me out on Facebook, Optimus Bulba Reviews, Twitter, Rodimus8, and Twitch at Optimus Bulba85. Just hit that in the search engine at the top. Also, if you wish to become a Patreon or buy from the merch store, look in the description box below. Lastly, I'd like to thank the Cybertronics 3 for allowing me to use their music, Cybertronic Warrior, as a theme for the channel. Please check them out on YouTube, Twitter, and Facebook and give them the support they deserve. This band is fantastic and do amazing things, so please send your support to them. And remember Transformer fans, till all are one.